Before his return on New Year's Eve, the house must be spick and span. Every member of the family joins in house cleaning, repairing, and painting. A new image is placed in the kitchen, usually above the stove, and a rich feast greets the returning deity. Food plays an important role in all Chinese festivals. New Year's dinners are especially lavish. Even ordinary dishes take on an exotic new names to denote hoped-for prosperity and good fortune. Eggs become silver ingots, mushrooms are opportunities, and chicken is called phoenix. Children receive special attention. They get new clothes and extra allowance in red envelopes and spend New Year's Day playing games and eating sweets forbidden or not available during the rest of the year. New Year's Day has its large assortment of do's and don'ts. Ancestors must be honored. Red scrolls inscribed with messages of happiness, prosperity, and longevity are pasted on the walls. A basket of food must be placed in the center of the living room to guarantee enough to eat in the coming year. Knives and scissors are put away so that no one will cut the continuity of luck for the year to come. Firecrackers are set off throughout the night and during the subsequent days to frighten off evil spirits. Lantern Festival On the 15th day, New Year merriment ends with the Lantern Festival. The lanterns used to be torches to help the people find the heavenly spirits they believed could be seen flying past in the light of the first full moon. Today, the Lantern Festival has become a carnival with puppet shows, operas, and dragon and lion dancing in the streets. The special food of the Lantern Festival is Yuan Xiao, a small round dumpling made of glutinous rice and with a filling that is usually sweet but may be salty. The roundness of the Yan Xiao signifies the full moon and family reunion. 美国老师带各位把这个课文读过了一遍，最后读这个元宵，美国老师也是练习了好几遍，才把这个元宵读得出来。不过读的并不像中国话，还是很有点洋味的元宵。